There are some things in life that most of us will never experience or even witness. Owning a private jet is one of those things. The most expensive private jets in the world represent wealth and status that are likely among the most lavish purchases. If you have hundreds of millions of dollars laying around gathering dust, it may be time to consider purchasing one of the private jets from Boeing or Airbus. The world's richest individuals love to spend their money on multi-million dollar toys, like luxurious yachts or expensive private jets. Yet no billionaire has dared to purchase an Airbus A380 for personal use, except for one Saudi prince, Al Walid. As a member of the Saudi royal family, he earned his own wealth throughout his life. He smartly invests his money in various sectors, including 50% ownership of London's Savoy Hotel and a 7% stake in Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation, the largest share outside the Murdoch family. According to Forbes, he is the seventh richest person in the world, with a personal wealth estimated at $39.8 billion. His collection already included a Rolls Royce, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a Ducati motorcycle covered in diamonds, an Airbus A231, a Hawker Siddeley HS125 Minijet, and a Boeing 747. He also owns the famous 86-meter yacht Flying Saucer, which you can see in the James Bond film Never Say Never Again. In October 2007, the billionaire prince visited the Dubai Air Show in his Boeing 747 private jet. There he placed an order for the first ever VIP version of the Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger aircraft for his personal use. As of now, his Airbus A380 remains the most expensive private jet in the world. According to industry reports, the prince spent up to $500 million on the Flying Castle in 2007 including the additional costs associated with its custom interior. The base price for the Airbus A380 was around $300 million at that time. Turning an Airbus A380 into a private aircraft requires far more customization than other private jets. This is no ordinary plane, it's a palace in the sky. A team of renowned designers and engineers customized Prince Al-Walid's A380 to match his royal status and personal tastes. In a standard A380, around 550 passengers fly in economy, business, and first class. Some airlines even offer a premium economy category, allowing for a total of 853 passengers. However, that wasn't suitable for the prince. He wanted no such sharing experience on his plane. His private jet, therefore, accommodates only him and his family. Indulging in five luxurious rooms equipped with king-size beds, handmade carpets, private lounges, and bathrooms with full-sized showers. It also features first-class sleeping seats and separate compartments for up to 20 business associates and other visitors, along with lounges and a dining room. Gourmet meals are prepared on board by top chefs in fully equipped kitchens. The exterior of the A380 was also given significant attention. Custom painting with royal logos and unique color schemes marked the jet as a symbol of Saudi royalty. The airplane's design was further modified to support the weight of its opulent interiors. One of the most remarkable features of the Airbus A380 is its size, and Prince Al-Walid's version fully utilizes its dual-deck setup. The plane has multiple floors, each with a specific function ranging from relaxation to business. The main lounge is the heart of the jet, boasting elegant couches, crystal chandeliers, and advanced entertainment systems. In addition to its luxurious living spaces, the Airbus A380 includes office areas where Prince Al-Walid can conduct business mid-flight. Meeting rooms equipped with video conferencing technology allow him to stay connected no matter where he is. Guests entering the aircraft do so through a grand entrance hall, which includes a wide spiral staircase and an elevator for those who prefer not to use the stairs that leads to the aircraft's top deck. The elevator descends through the aircraft's belly to the ground below, 
where a red carpet automatically unfurls, illuminated by lights at night, giving guests the impression they've arrived at a Hollywood premiere. The jet also features a concert hall equipped with a grand piano, acoustic paneling, and seating for an audience of 10. Empty cargo and luggage compartments in the aircraft's belly have been converted into entertainment spaces, including a Turkish bath covered in marble just two millimeters thick to minimize weight. Adjacent to this is a well-being room with a magic carpet glass floor, which displays a live view of the ground below. The room is scented with forest and sea fragrances, offering an atmosphere that creates the illusion of flying like Superman. Dreamy, right? The interior of Prince Al Walid's Flying Palace was designed by Design Q, a company based in Worcestershire. The design also includes a massive onboard garage for Al Walid's Rolls Royce. There's even a prayer area where computer generated prayer mats automatically adjust to point toward. Mecca. No doubt, the Airbus A380 is the most expensive private jet to date, complete with stunning luxury. But what happened next may surprise you. All these impressive plans proved to be unrealistic, and the private plane never took flight. According to Forbes, the billionaire prince had agreed with Airbus to acquire a test flight version of the A380, serial number 002. Al Walid reportedly negotiated the price down to $130 million, with roughly 50% to be paid in yearly installments after an initial $19.5 million down payment. The remaining balance was due upon delivery. Airbus even promised to deliver the aircraft as new, complete with brand new engines and systems. However, the global financial crisis of 2008 to 2009 marked the beginning of the end for Al Walid's A380 Flying Palace. He put the aircraft up for sale. In March 2008, he received a $268 million offer from the UK aircraft leasing company, Chartwell Aviation, but Al Walid rejected it demanding nothing less than $300 million. By then, he had already defaulted on several payments to Airbus. At one point, sources say he had to pay Airbus an additional $10 million to delay the A380's delivery for six months. Let's explore some other expensive private jets. A Middle Eastern billionaire owns one of the world's most expensive private aircraft, the Boeing 747-8 VIP, and spent over $400 million modifying it. Russian billionaire Elishner Usmanov's Airbus A340 is another notable example, with an approximate value of $400 million. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner, typically a commercial airliner, has been transformed into a $300 million private jet for the ultra-wealthy. The Dassault Falcon 10X is an ultra-long-range business jet, rivaling some of the most expensive private jets on the market, priced at $75 million. The Gulfstream G700, the latest flagship jet from Gulfstream Aerospace, is one of the most technologically advanced and luxurious private jets available, costing about $75 million. Finally, the Embraer Lineage 1000E is another luxury private jet, priced at around $53 million, offering one of the largest cabins in its class, and electric power jets offering a more eco-friendly way to fly.